A prominent figure in the nation's COVID response was in St. Louis today. The director of the CDC visited several facilities, including her old stomping grounds. Our Justina Cornell spoke one on one with Dr. Rochelle Walensky. It was so wonderful to be back home in St. Louis. CDC's director, Dr. Rochelle Walensky, came back to where it all started. This has been one of my first trips that I've been able to make during this pandemic. Thursday morning, Dr. Walensky began her St. Louis tour at her alma mater, Washington University. After leaving the medical campus at Washington University, Dr. Walensky came here to Care STL Health and toured the facility and talked to staff about the biggest challenges they face. I heard today about healthcare worker burnout here, about challenges in being able to reach the populations. Many of the patients have fallen out of care during the COVID pandemic and they're working really hard to re-engage them. Care STL is one of 1,400 federally qualified healthcare centers across the country. They serve um, people who don't have any other place to get their care. One in three folks living in poverty gain access to healthcare here. These are uh, communities that have lack of access to healthcare to start. Her visit comes as the Bi-State shows improving COVID numbers. The St. Louis Pandemic Task Force shares hospitalization numbers are getting close to pre Omicron levels. And Dr. Walensky's timing lines up with St. Louis City's mask order rescinding this weekend. Our guidance has said that you're able to remove your mask. This guidance is a tool millions have been using during the pandemic, such as St. Louis City's health director. What the CDC has done is continued to be the trusted messenger to give us the metrics to continue to plan for the future. So an opportunity to spend time with her is a game changer for Dr. Mati Hachwayo Davis. Today is a day that St. Louis needs to be proud because we have been as instrumental in fighting through this pandemic as any of the other big cities. And I think that's we need days like this, right? We need hope. And it's a chance for Dr. Walensky to plant some inspiration, especially to those who were in the same shoes as she was. To talk to students and to talk to trainees and really to inspire the next generation, I hope. Justina Cornell, five on your side. Dr. Walensky says if you'd like to continue wearing a mask, do so. She also reiterates the importance of vaccines and says vaccines save lives.